Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Joshy Bear, and we are again playing Minecraft. Really getting into this this uh, this world and this let's play. Got a few things to show you. I've been uh, kind of working um, behind the scenes, as it will, uh, to uh, get some things taken care of. Uh, and the last time we uh, we took took a little trip. Uh, I didn't take you on the trip. I just kind of showed you where I went. Uh, but uh, we did get did get my carrots planted. Uh, they're coming along okay. Uh, got a little ways. Wheat and potatoes doing fine. Um, I've definitely definitely overkill there because it takes me all day to plant that. But hopefully my zombie villager can help me with that. Um, the farms. Yeah, the cow a little buggy, but as you can hear, this is a. Uh, working pretty good <laughs> so uh, yeah we're doing fine we're doing fine with our animals so far all uh, right got my cactus farm going got plenty of cactus out here I'll have to tear that down that's for my slime farm of course which uh, I will be showing you a little bit here uh, I got a chest sitting out here and it's almost totally full of cobble uh, because I have begun to at least pick a location for my mob my mob farm XP farm whatever um, it'll probably be a combination of a, a mob and XP farm at first and that's actually until I can find a blaze uh, blaze spawner in the nether which that'll be my XP farm but uh, yeah I'm gonna build it all the way out there I think we'll uh, see how far out I actually have to go but I think I'm gonna it's gonna be up in the air a little bit too so I don't have to go out incredibly far but I want it away from everything and out here in the deep ocean which is where we are so uh, it should work okay and I was doing some cave exploring over in that area uh, just trying to f light up some stuff uh, for the uh, slime farm which actually is coming along quite nicely uh, if I can just run over there but uh, I do have to show you one thing first uh, I wasn't just uh, planning things and doing stuff. I uh, act actually uh, made a uh, made a little improvement around the area, as you can see over here, where we put our Nether portal. It now has a an acceptable entrance. Yeah, and I'm actually pretty proud of this. It didn't take me all that long to do. It's uh, a nice little entrance to that, and it's just a. Uh, double piston door. I don't know if you can hear I don't know if you hear inside, but ooh. I just got walloped. But uh yeah, I kind of decorated a little bit. I just got this room done. I still got some some to do in here. I don't know exactly what yet, but I put the piston door on there so that way if uh, any zombie pig pigmen come through uh come through my portal, I uh at least they'll stay in here and I got some use out of my nether rack it's like a walkway to hell see yeah okay all right so there's that and that didn't take all that long um oh yeah slime farm let's go check out the slime farm because I, now it's I've just got a lot of the one chunk dug out and it's only I do believe it's it's only this chunk, and I've still got a couple levels to go. But I've already actually had some slimes in there, which which is good. I mean, digging out the slime chunk, you're gonna you're gonna get some slime spawn depending on where you are. I actually, I'm hoping to get. I I hear zombies around here. I'm gonna need to take care of that. Oh, it's like it's right behind this wall. Hold on. I gotta dig that. See if I can... Yeah. Okay. That's... I think I might have... <laughs> yeah, keep keep coming. Oh, I got a lot of zombies in here. Maybe that's why I'm not getting as many slimes as I thought I would. I, I've got quite a few levels dug out. Uh, I'll have to take care of this here later, but yeah, I, I just like with a mob spawner, you got to make sure that uh, everything's lit up and 
So that's uh, that's another thing I'm gonna have to do, but I won't do that today. Uh, it's just been well, no, I'm not gonna do that today. Although that didn't go very far, so I'll just go ahead and do this side. Uh, today I want to well after we see the slime farm, I want to actually do some more building projects because I've got some things that I feel definitely need done. And now that we have some of the things that we have. Uh, we can get those things done. Obviously. I'm going to have to come back in there. just got to remember to do that. But anyway, back. See, yeah. See, there's a slime already. There's just a slime hanging out. So, yeah, as, you, as you can see, it's definitely, definitely working. That might, that area up there might be where I put my kill room. I'm not sure. But it seems like they all spawned here. Yeah, they're... Wow, they're spawning. All right, so I definitely, uh, you know, I definitely got a good good slime chunk here. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm up to there so far. I think that's level... Uh, do I have any dirt? Nah, not enough dirt to do that. But I think, uh, I think the last level I actually completed was 28 and then it's going to be 32. I may just go up to 32, maybe up to 36, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I do have three, uh, two other chunks to cut out, so we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But it actually hasn't taken me all that long, I, I, maybe uh, three or four hours total to do all this. So not, not bad. I do got to grow some more jack-o'-lanterns, which is one of the reasons why I want to do some of the build projects we're doing today. Yeah. And we got all that water... All that water... Yeah, I definitely got to go in there and, and take care of some of that because... Um, slimes have a ten, it's a like an 8 or 10% chance of spawning, and all other mobs take priority. So, if there's area for mobs to spawn, slimes will spawn less, which is something I did not know until a couple days ago, which is just a couple days ago for me, not like when you're watching this. Okay. So, we've got a few more farm items we got to build, and I want to build them now because uh, it seems like the right thing to do. We've got our cows, we've got our sheep, but we've still got this old-fashioned chicken farm. And I have to I have to actually deal with the chickens. I don't want to deal with the chickens. In fact, I want the chickens to just deal with themselves. Get out of here. In fact, these chickens won't even be a part of that farm. These chickens will be slaughtered in ceremonious sacrifice and it's a jubilous ceremony because we're going to have a fully automatic chicken farm and I think I'm going to build it right here so it's far enough away from my house that I can't hear them but as soon as I come over here I mean this is kind of annoying I mean you can hear that it definitely sounds like a barnyard I think, I think they're all glitched in I gotta kill some of these guys off but we're going to build a chicken farm over here. Um, also, I want to get rid of this sugar cane and move it or just uh, get rid of it until I'm ready ready for the sugar cane farm. And I want to build both a pumpkin and watermelon uh, farm automated with collection. So the melon farm I've done before. The chicken farm I have not. So that could be as fun to watch as the cow farm, but uh, actually it looks pretty easy. So I'm going to get uh, most, if not, well, I'm going to say I'm going to get all the things I need, but I'll probably just get most of it and have to go back. Um, and, well, and then that's while the sun goes down. And then in the morning, we get started on our automatic chicken killer. Okay, what do I need? Hmm. All right, so I think we've got everything we need to give these give these chickens a new home. I think, I hope. 
So uh, this is actually a pretty easy, <clears throat> or I guess it's easy for those of you who actually know how to <laughs> build with redstone. For someone like me, this could prove to be uh, difficult, but um, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead, let's pick the, where we want the middle of this thing. I'm gonna put the middle of it back here. I'll put it right there. So it starts like this with a hopper and oh, I forgot my half slabs oh let me grab my half slabs damn it I knew there was something I was forgetting I have those already I didn't have to make any of those but uh, other than that uh, we've got three other hoppers and some glass I'm going you know, to use andesite to uh to build this with since I used the granite and the uh, diite or the dolomite or whatever. Uh, what was I? I want, uh, let's, eh, cobblestone half slab will work. Okay. Here we go. Let's try to start this again. Then we go one, two, I think it's three, four, five. I think it's five. I think it's five. I'll know when I start to run the redstone whether or not I got that right. And we just fill that in. We put a uh, half slab on that, and then we put a piece of glass on our chest. All right. Then we go... One, two, three, two, three. We put a dispenser here. Ah, yeah, I gotta go back one more row. Put a dispenser there, and then should be able to fill in that like that. And then we place three hoppers like that. Okay. So far, so good. Let me get a piece of dirt here. All right, and then on top of those hoppers, you can place carpet. Now, the design that I'm following puts carpet on it. I don't think you have to put the carpet on the hoppers, but it just, I don't know, it makes it look a little bit better. Okay, so now... Wait, did I do that right? No, I didn't leave myself anywhere to run the redstone. Uh, let's see here. Where's my... <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> wrong key. Those cows are getting on my nerves here already. Uh, let's see here. Let me dig these back out, because I think it... Uh, let's see here. Pretty sure that it's probably like this. Okay. Then what we do is we put a piece of glass. Ah, oh, damn it. Then we put a piece of glass on top of there. We fill all of these in. that and then we take our bucket of lava and put our bucket of lava in just like that all right so that's what we should have so far now we can place our cop our carpet on top of our hoppers give me that piece of dirt here so that way I can <laughs> you know oh those cows now we can do the carpet. Got to have somewhere to put the redstone, right? Did it go in the chest? I think it did. Did I lose a piece of carpet? Are you kidding me? Or, oh, I bet it's in the dropper. Oh. Or the dispenser, I mean. No, I want I want the dispenser. Yeah, there it is. 
dispensers. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't let me have the dispenser. Okay. And then we place that there. Then after that we can go like that and like that. Alright. And then we can do this, this, and this. This, this, and this. And then the whole top. I'll fill in the back eventually. Actually, I can probably fill in all of the back now. Nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, before I do that, well, let's see here. We have a repeater. I do believe coming out. Yeah, maybe it's. I think it's this way. Uh, we have a comparator. That way. Into a repeater. I think we run this all the way like. No, get out of my way. I do believe it's like this. I'm gonna put that on subtract mode. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna do one little modification. This will allow us to actually shut everything down. Uh, I need a lever. I should be able to do that just like this. This will allow us to shut the whole thing down. if we want to get eggs. All right, so that should be it for the redstone. Uh, actually, let me let me test it real quick. Let me, let me just put, uh, and would you look at that? I got it right. Now let's, now that should keep that Here. Let's just put one egg in there. I should keep that egg in there until I flip that switch. How do you like that? How do you like that? I got this one right, guys. And then we can just fill in everything else here. Two, three. And of course, I can. All right, so 64 blocks, four pieces of redstone, three repeaters, a comparator, four hoppers, a dispenser, a bucket of lava, and a chest, oh, and a lever. And we've got ourselves a chicken farm. So I've got to, uh, I've got to go get myself some ladders so I can climb up to the top because I need to uh, throw some eggs in. But uh, as soon as I can get away to... Uh, read the name it it's it's not it's not an unknown I, i'm sure you guys are probably going yeah i saw that so um most of you probably know who uh who designed this chicken farm uh, i thought it was pretty cool um i like the fact that it's customizable you can have it fully auto but i i'm thinking maybe there's a chance that i want eggs at some point and if i would need eggs i could Go get them. Let's see if I. What was I coming in here to get? Oh, I was, yeah, I was trying to see how many eggs I actually had in here. Eh, I'm not worried about the dark this time. But yeah, what happens is um, the baby chickens get hatched in basically into the half slab, and then they hang out there on the half slab till they grow up. When they grow up, they die, and all their drops go into the hopper, which go into the chest. Um, according to this, uh, the designer of, or at least what I watched, there is the chance of a little bit of loss in this auto farm, but uh, I don't think that that's a huge deal. I'm not worried about loss. It's automatic. It, that That's why you build it. You don't build it for... 
well you can build this one for efficiency i could build this actually outward the top level i could add as many hoppers sideways or backwards as i want to put more chickens in but uh i don't need to do that so all i gotta do let's go ahead and i'll get those i hope it didn't burn that stuff up but i should be able to just drop all just put some eggs in here Oh, really? Did I kill that chicken already? I'm trying not to kill the chickens. Let me just grab all these eggs. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I got so many eggs from... Alright, so there's one chicken. Now, when these chickens grow up, they will lay eggs into those hoppers and that's what will feed the hopper now as long as I don't put too many chickens in here um, it won't be a huge problem but if I put I, I pair oh that's it come here you son of a bitch do not mess with me I'm making chicken farm all right back to what I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted there all right, there's another chicken. There's another chicken. There's a lot, of, a lot of chicken. I got a lot of eggs too. Oh, lost that one. Oh well. All right, so uh, I'm going to, I'm going to continue putting eggs in my uh, chicken farm, and I'll be, uh, I'll be back as soon as, uh, as soon as we're done with that. All right, so it got dark on me, and I started to have some hordes of zombies and whatnot coming after me, so I... Oh, really? It's the king of the enchanted skeletons. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, not even going to give me the armor. Uh, just going to collect a few more eggs here, but... Uh, I'm going to see if I can... I, I can get this to do what it was doing to me um, when I was putting the eggs in because sometimes I would hatch they would hatch out directly into the blocks and they would suffocate which was really strange but that's how many chickens we got in there at this point oh somebody laid an egg I heard it Let's see if I can get this to do it eh, maybe not but uh, if if you work with this design ever um, just know that every now and then you you're probably gonna hear some or see some chickens hatch right into uh, right into the blocks and uh, immediately die from suffocation damage so that's a uh, that's a problem to worry about I guess but there you have it. Here's my uh, automatic chicken farm. And so far, it's uh, it appears to be working. Which is... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there because I don't need that right now. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. All right. So we can say goodbye to these chickens. Although, I think I'm going to leave them for a little bit so I can get some more eggs. Maybe get a few more chickens up there. Hopefully, it's not too many. I'll see what, what happens when they grow up. So, we'll leave them for now. Alright. So, our next project is actually... It's not huge, but it's... What I'm going to do is actually not very resource-friendly. But, I do have uh, enough iron to do what I need to do. Uh, we're not going to make it very big at first, but uh, what uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start our melon and pumpkin farm. I will have to run a couple tests here in the world just to make sure that the melon, what crushes the melon, will actually harvest the, the pumpkins as well. And if that's the case, I'm I'm golden because I actually need quite, quite a lot of pumpkins for jack-and-lanterns for my uh, slime farm because that's what I'm going to use for the lighting. It, it uh, 
gives you extra extra blocks to have slime spawn on and everything else. So I'm going to make sure that I've got everything ready for that. And then, uh, oh yeah, it's a, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, uh, it's either Kai Suma, Kai Sumo Void or uh, Zai Sumo Void. Uh, you've you probably you probably know the guy or I've seen the videos so that's that's who gets credit for that I might have to put me a little uh, a framed uh, chicken up there or something I don't know but uh, yeah there's our chicken farm awesome all right so I'm gonna get prepared for the melon farm uh, I'll be back I, I gotta move all my sugar cane and stuff so uh, sit tight Okay, so I'm ready. Of course, I, as you can see, I have dug up my uh, sugarcane farm to make room for this. Okay, this is uh, courtesy of Monkey Farm. It's uh, my favorite autom automatic melon system. It's just, it's actually really, just really smart. <laughs> I don't know that I ever would have thought of that. Uh, I should, probably shouldn't have that one yet, but uh, basically, let me put some. I gotta put some water down here, so I can keep that soil hydrated. But basically, what you have here—that's the size of one piece of your farm. Then, uh, let's see here, what kind of blocks do I want to use? And let's let's go. I got all kinds of birch wood. Let's get some birch wood. <clears throat> I totally forgot. I I was using just a ton of. Uh, I can put I can put those away for now and put that away for now. Uh, yeah. I was using a ton of oak wood to get my hoppers. I made a lot of hoppers just so I had them. Cause that, that I think that's going to be the biggest resource drain. Cause even though this is a pretty, uh, it's a pretty neat build. It's just, it's very re resource intensive. So if you don't have a lot of iron um, to make all the hoppers, then <clears throat> excuse me, then uh, you might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm spending that iron now, so that way I've got it later. Okay, so. Uh, let's see here. Here it is. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to do that yet, but I will do that now. So, basically what you've got, and I do believe it's going to be like this. You're going to have... that there you're gonna have another block on top and I've already made that too close how did I do that I've done this before too oh. <laughs> I mean we saw we saw how great I am at building stuff that I haven't built before <sighs> sometimes I don't know why I bother all right so you're gonna have a block here redstone torch then you're going to put a block here invert that then you're going to take a sticky piston which I have four of them I should have made more and you're gonna I think have that face down oh, I still made that I still didn't make that tall enough Well, damn it. No, I didn't. It's definitely not what I wanted. But okay. Oh, come on, guys. Please, just let me, uh... Let me do one of these without looking like a complete fool. Alright. Put that dirt back down. Dirt down. Hode. Alright, I guess I better p 
pick where I want my chest here. Well, I'll pick where I want my chest here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and build. <laughs> I did it again. I put it way too close because there's needs to be hoppers there. Okay. So if we go like let's go like that. Alright, so you're gonna have a torch there. Block on top of that torch, please. No. Wow. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and build this up. Torch there. Block. There. Sticky piston facing down. And then a block of glass. Yes, glass. Uh, hopefully they don't mess up anymore. Put glass right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have your hoppers kind of coming out this way. And I'm going to go ahead and put a block down there. So I can put my hoppers around. And then, uh, we'll just do that for now. Okay, so we got our hoppers down. Now we need two redstone repeaters. And we also need a torch behind this one. Alright, so what's supposed to happen here is, and if I grab actually let's grab a pumpkin to see if it works. But what's supposed to happen here is basically a solid block goes in between those repeaters, i.e. pumpkin melon. That sends the signal from this redstone torch and this repeater into that repeater which turns off this torch turning on that torch causing the piston to go down and everything to go splat. Oh, snap. How you like that? Thank you, Monkey Farm. You are a genius. Okay, so at this point, you basically just have to do the same thing over again. So uh, that one will be hoed. And this one will be hoed. So you can actually have two side by side, and you can have as many of these units as you want or as you can afford going along that going along the way. I don't think that we're going to be able to build a ton of these but uh, we're going to do as many as we can. We got to remember that some of them are for pumpkin some of them are for melon. One, two. We'll just, why not just come across here. Alright so the same thing here. We're going to have I'll tell you what, we'll just put uh we'll put a chest uh like right here for now. Or like right yeah, whatever. I can I can always tear it down late I can always do something else with it later. Okay. So one, two. And it's gonna be like three, four See what I mean? It, it's pretty resource heavy to do it this way. And for some reason, why is my soil not... Oh, I think I know why. I think it's because of my water and where I've placed it. Alright, let me uh, let me take care of the water. I don't know why I didn't just dig that all the way out and just put water. Well, why don't I just grab my bucket? It's a water source. I am such an idiot sometimes. Alright, give me that water. No. 
Give me the water. Thank you. <clears> hmm. <throat> Alright. Let me do this. I can at least, uh... I can at least get that water flowing a little bit. Alright. Actually, see, where's the melon? The melon's gonna be under this one. So if I do, if I do that, and do that, I should be able to, yeah, that should work. Then I just put the water in behind there. And I go, boom. We should have hydrated... Hydrated land. I have to replace that dirt. That should do it. And I do have some melon seed. So, actually, let me get some more melon seeds here. Hi. <laughs> I tried so hard to prepare, and it just did not work. Okay. There we go. That should be... That should be plenty. For this to work. So I should be able to just go blap, blap. Let's, uh... Bone meal these suckers. Yeah. There. Now they should uh, grow <clears throat> pretty quickly. Alright, so all we got to do is the same thing that we did on the other side. So we go... It's going to be torch. Repeater. Repeater. Torch. And we go with a... here we go with a block on top <laughs> I am so bad at this why am I so bad at this I mean, that's the wrong kind of wood anyway <sighs> I'm glad I said hmm maybe I should take that axe all right redstone torch uh, sticky piston and a piece of glass. Nope. Well, that's lost forever in the hopper. Let's uh, do ourselves a favor and try to get underneath this. Sticky piston facing downward with a piece of glass. Put that hopper back on there real quick. And now, when those grow, they should all go into the hoppers. Because uh, you can put those repeaters on top of those hoppers, and it's like a half slab. It still is going to make, a, make it into the hopper. All right. So. Now, if I just pretend that, you know, okay, yeah, there's a... There's a melon. Boom. Puts it right in. And there's my there's my melon. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to see if my water is working okay here. So I, don't, I don't know that it is, but... Uh, it should be working fine. It just didn't look like that soil was all that... see here where it's gonna have to be yeah that yeah that soil should be that soil should be hydrated all right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a I think I'll make a uh, make that a little bit 
bigger. Yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. Include some pumpkins. And, uh... I'll be right back. And there you have it. That is... The Melon Monkey. You know, well, just, like, one part of this is the Melon Monkey. Now, I think I've got a few too many, uh... I probably got way too many, um hoppers in there and I have to go back and look but I'm definitely ensuring that there will be next to no loss here um, if I if I go back and see it look at it again and see that I've got way too many um, if I got way too many hoppers in there I might uh, fix that but other than that this is looking uh, looking pretty pretty cool and it works it works really well so if uh, you know you have a you have a world you've got a few resources you need melon uh, if you need pumpkin because it's like my pumpkin over here growing like gangbusters really is there that creeper to cause me some big problems let me uh go ahead and take care of him Haha. Uh -huh. You didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Actually, let me see how my chicken farm's doing. Ah, I've already got already got stuff in there. How awesome is that? But yeah, that uh, that melon farm, it works as a pumpkin farm too. That is going to be a lifesaver for me. It's not going to produce a ton of pumpkins uh, because I'm probably only going to have one or two for right now at least until I can get some more resources because again it is very resource very resource heavy uh, but uh, let's see I've already got some melon look at that we missed it so um, yeah and you can build those as long as you want I had one that had eight melons on it once in another world and it it wasn't a, you know it, crazy numbers but uh, it was definitely good enough for one person I think this is gonna do do good for now uh, I'm gonna build I'm gonna build one more for my pumpkins and uh, I won't show that one but uh, you you get it you I think you get it and we're already seeing results so I'm Joshy bear please make sure that, oh let's go inside to do this it's my favorite part please make sure that if you like the video click that like button also, I'm gonna I'm gonna make better buttons too. I think I'm gonna make some that light up. <laughs> also, if uh, you like uh, this video and any any of the other ones, and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. It will tell you when I upload videos. How how awesome is that? Well, it's probably not that awesome. You're you're all used to it by now. So, yeah, uh, it's it's YouTube. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, I think that kind of stuff is awesome. Just seeing if one goes. As soon as I turn my back, it's like I turn my back for a second and it doesn't do anything. I want to see it do something. Anyway, I'm Joshy Bear. Um, don't know what we're going to do next time, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go to the nether and try to find a blaze rod. <laughs> Cure this fella. I know, I hear you. Stay back. I'll see you later.